is always full you know like you always know and my sister we, we said uh my full squad you know but uh <laughs> i'm not uh borrowing from that you know i would say uh the able uh <laughs> <laughs> now if i give them name now you know somebody will hook me with that but uh let me say you know um we are always ready you know to just share our own experience based on what uh we we'll put as topic to discuss like any other day you know today we are bringing a fresh topic you know as you know today is wednesday and we are talking a relationship but uh before then uh yesterday we talked about um uh, a particular topic and then we did justice to it and we said today we are going to check uh the response you know how people responded you know to some of the topics that we we discussed already and we said it is important for us to come here to just look at them read them and then uh, say one or two words and i think we will do that before we'll come back to uh the main uh, topic of today so just uh keep faith with us uh, just relax you know carry your whatever you feel you're going to put close to you whether it's a drink whether it's a snack or whatever just to relax and then we'll do the show together i'm promising you that it's going to be interesting i have engineer tony j nekali in the house welcome, welcome sir <laughs> looking good and then I have Prudence, I have Jakarta in the house. On Christ the solid rock I stand. Like always. <laughs> together. <laughs> we are standing on that. <laughs> no, ladies are to stand in. Okay, okay. okay. She's the only one standing on it. <laughs> on Christ the solid rock I stand. He's standing there alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, yesterday, uh, Engineer Tony suggested that it is, it is good for us to visit uh, those comments and then um let them feel that yes we do get this comment and we read them and we ponder on them so i think george you do us well we, we cannot take all the comments <laughs> um, we'll just take a few of it and one is from mr augustine he says my longest worry we discussed about my longest it's worry longest yesterday worry. Yeah. he says my longest worry is the state of ill health of nigeria and nigerians in mm. respect of insecurities hardship and corruption diversifying with hot immediate effort to avert rather our rulers that supposed to be leaders keep on having i think kept on having vibrant policies on paper that are not effective so sad these indices um have engulfed many innocent lives so regrettably and uh, philemon tima says uh, my longest worry for my country nigeria is the negligence in human capacity building we have all it take to build our nation and compete with other countries god has blessed us with all kinds of mineral resources but our failures in building human capacity that will help in Hanans, Hana, help in Hanas all, I think help in Hanasin all, this is what has kept us in the situation and is what is engineering all this insecurity issue. And the earlier our leaders know that only human beings will continue with the legacy that they will leave behind the better for us well a um, lot of english right there and mm -hmm. you know it's it's quite interesting to know that um there are people out there that their longest worry is the state of the country mm. for some people like yesterday we shared personal experiences our own um worry but mm. there are people out there that are really worried these are patriotic Nigerians that believe in the nation, hoping that things will change, hoping that things will be better. But quite unfortunate that um, most times we talk about leadership being um, the bane. Hmm. You, you, you get people, people get into leadership positions, but without any blueprint. So it's just what comes like, or even if they come with uh, policies, good policies, but at the end of the day, it, look, it almost looks like... Um, there are no good methodologies. Mm. You see that the policies are quite beautiful, but the methodologies, not it. Mm. We saw how that with the NERA um, swap, swap mm. how that a lot of people even died at the end of the day. Mm. And people then buying NERA with people NERA. buying NERA with NERA, <laughs> quite unfortunate. And then to even mm. think that, oh, that has come to stay. Now, 
how many times do you get to see even the new Nera notes? Mm. We have gone back to the old notes. old notes. So what about the people that have lost their lives? What about mm. businesses that are gone? Mm. So for, for a lot of Nigerians, except if you're not living in this country, like the state of the nation will be a thing of concern for mm. you. But mm. beyond that, you should not allow it to be Mm. To, to worry you mm. what you should rather do is to think of getting it right because we all have a role to play, to play you, yeah. you get so mm. if i'm a citizen what is my role to play i should try to do the right thing mm. when it comes to election who are the people you're electing is it based on your relationship with them or you're electing them because um it's your uncle's brother your this and that so it should be based on competence capacity mm. and then at the end of the day we'll have the nation working for all of us. So mm. I think beyond the worry, worry, let's be concerned about getting things right and doing the right thing on our own part. So it is important. Very true. Very true. Um, it's it's as as she has just said, the worry is not um going to solve anything. Mm. And we established that yesterday. Mm. Say so if you if you just do dwell on worrying about something, you would you just end up being stagnant and mm. there's no movement, there's no growth. Mm. Um, it's key and important that even as we are burdened about these things and just like this, um, our brothers just listed out, even as we are worried about these things, we are disturbed about the condition of the country, mm. what we should be thinking about is how to get out of this. Mm. How are we going to be a solution mm. to the country? Mm. Mm. And I, I think Nigerians are trying because, you know, when, when you look at all of these things that he mentioned, you know, still, you know, people are still still carrying out their day to day activities. You know, we have so many like, like someone says, like he said, if not for the faithful ones mm -hmm. that are doing the right thing and are always praying on behalf of the country, we wouldn't have had Nigeria. Mm -hmm. By now, we can we, we will not be talking about Nigeria. It would have crashed. But, you know, even at that, God look at the faithful one. And he's saying, just like the case of uh, um, 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 Abraham and Lot, you know? And then, you know, can, can I find uh, 10 faithful people, you know, in the land that will make me not to destroy? And you see how, you know, the number kept, you know, dropping. Mm -hmm. And then until you know um lord what was, was saved and his entire family so you see when, when you look at what is happening like you rightly said yes you have every reason to say you are discouraged you are you have every reason to be worried you have every reason to 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 even uh uh like give up mm -hmm. on the entire thing but you look at it you know the bible says you know we should not worry so and it's part it, it's of the like tribulations saying, that the bible spoke about you facing so yes <laughs> the situation yeah. that is happening mm. yeah but then cast mm. it on him because on sometimes him. you keep talking you keep wailing and it's not even changing because mm. you're not in the capacity to change mm. to make laws mm. to make policies so you're just right there but i think what is more important beyond being concerned is for us to do the right thing the right now on part yeah. if you do the right thing i do the right thing prudence do the right thing and then every other person out there does the right thing mm. then nigeria will become a better country but i hope mm. people don't think we're on nigeria now <laughs> so let's talk about relationship it's wednesday talking about relationship today we are looking at um waiting in vain mm. you know is it possible for someone to wait in vain that question is not for me right <laughs> <laughs> you know I, I i just look at the the topic and why I, is joyce on today's life <laughs> The question is not for you. Who is it for? People with experience. <laughs> <laughs> you have never, you have never broken up in relationship. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> you have partially waited in vain. <laughs> if you have done that, you have partially waited in vain. Well, we talk about waiting in vain. Yes, sir. <laughs> we are talking about ladies who give their lives to men who have who don't have sense. <laughs> hmm. how about hmm. men on the other hand and then too? and then no <laughs> you know you know when you see fire fire is on his own hmm. already fire is hot <laughs> nobody is going to blame fire for being hot until somebody touches it and he gets burned hmm. right why would you be in a relationship that is not promising nobody has said anything <laughs> that you will believe and you remained there and next day they will tell you they are baking cake for that person there wedding. is hope <laughs> 
you gotta be you gotta be keeping hope alive with nonsense men because truly i i it, it didn't come out well but it's, it's painful that mm. you see people stay in relationship that is not purposeful True. Mm. but they are hoping mm. that there will be something positive at the end i don't know how yeah, but they said the bible say we should keep hope alive they should be keeping hope alive with such men it's fine okay you know it's more- fine when you keep so uh, when the bible says you should keep hope alive you should, you should keep hoping right yes are you hoping I don't, I don't even know where the bible says you should keep hope alive but <laughs> no i'm just in all you are getting get wisdom you, you understand what <laughs> i just want to freeze you know you know how you, we do I it here, yes. i don't know i don't know why you know that this thing will not work hmm. but you you stupidly say things like i'm still trusting god i'm waiting i'm praying it will uh-uh. Uh, let hmm. me add to that. If I leave, where do I get another one? Uh, uh, before you are not born with this one now. It <laughs> came. Mm. Another mm. one will come. See, mm. I would I would rather be single and walk on not being lonely mm. than be with a guy mm. or a sister that is wasting my time. I think the problem because some I, people are single mm. and they are lonely. Some people are single, they are not lonely. Yeah, some okay. of us don't care. That is the that's just the point. Mm. Let me explain why. Mm. When you are single and you are lonely, you are you are bent on having a man or a woman in your life. Wow. What are the reasons? These reasons are mostly not godly. My friend <laughs> are having one. When they are talking mostly. about guys, they are mm. talking about base, me, I'll just sit down quietly like that. Do you know that people don't come out to tell you what they are going through in a relationship that is negative. They, they just tell you the sweet things. Mm. You don't care. It's them. Mm. As far as I'm concerned, I'm not in any relationship. That's what matters at mm. the moment. Mm. It's even more peaceful for you, sir. Because some people don't <laughs> set antecedents solo. Some mm. people don't set that. Anything that comes with trousers. Mm. Let's go. If it looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it if it looks good, let's go. But 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 this no, is so hot. Now was, yes, 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 yes. That was wow. It, it, it has <laughs> to it, it has to hurt to make sense. If it yeah, doesn't hurt, yeah. it doesn't make yes, sense. Yes, because yes. I mm. I don't know why a lady will say ah six months now I've not been in any relationship. So anybody that comes, One I'm year. just I've been lonely for six months. No, mm. you can be alone but not lonely. Mm. It's possible because the reasons why you want to be with someone. You just think that by someone being in your life, you have stopped being lonely. Mm. Is loneliness having another person next to you? No. Mm. Is is this issue of uh, proving a point? You know that uh, you know when 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 I stay for that long, six months, seven months, one year, without having a boyfriend, you know, or a girlfriend, P- or a, or a girlfriend somebody would you. think that somebody something is wrong with me personally. Yes. It's, it's Definitely really present. something is wrong with mm. you. It's, it's not it's not wrong. Like yes. am something I not beautiful? Am I no, not no. handsome? You see, the thing that is wrong with you is what you should define. Mm. Hmm. The reason why I don't do this thing is because I don't fit in their school of thought. That is what is wrong with me. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. And it's good for that to be wrong with me. I think you should say that again. Can I remember what I said? (laughs) (laughs) What is wrong with me is that I don't fit in their own school of thought. Of having to be in a relationship by hook Mm -hmm, or by mm -hmm, mm crew. And then you live your life having so many scars. So many scars on you. Just because you want to be in love. Love is not hurtful. It's not painful. Mm. Yeah. There are things that will come with love mm. that you can deal with and move on. Yes. That does not mean uh, you will not get pain. You not, no, 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 no. Intentionally, deliberately, love should not hurt. Mm. But when it comes, you deal with it and you move forward. Mm. Have you, have a, you have a wife at home. Would you say from the day you got married till now, it's all rosy? No. Mm. You have had a relationship. Mm. You wouldn't say from the day you say, okay, I agree. Hmm. to be in a relationship with you. It's been all rosy. No. no. In the process of growth, there are hurdles to jump. Mm. There, are, there, there are perils. There are, there are a lot of things that will be, you know, challenging hmm. because you are also growing and you have not faced such. Yeah. Hmm. So when something comes to you for the second time, you would have dealt with it from the beginning. Hmm. So you wouldn't know, you wouldn't be out of uh, solutions. Hmm. You would have what to do to deal with this what to do to deal with that because it has happened to you it has happened to your friend before and you saw how they went through it hmm. so when people just sit down and you are you are you are you are you are relating hmm. with someone hmm. that does not have an aim being related to you you will wait more than in vain 
Yeah. And, and you I know, think it's that... really detrimental, sorry, prudence to, to my gender. And I'm, I'm bothered as well. I'm concerned about that waiting in vain. Just to paint this um, the picture, I know a lady that was in a relationship, obviously, we all saw that it was not working. Sorry. Based on the complaints and what she all, often says about the, like, Waiting in vain stems from undefined relationship. Mm. You go into relationship, okay, he just says, oh, you look beautiful and you go back, fantasize, assume that this guy <laughs> is actually, he calls you baby and you assume that, oh, he's actually in love with you and you start relating, seeing him, he's calling you, you're calling and texting, chat, chatting and then nothing is being defined but you assume that you're already in relationship with this person mm-hmm. because he calls you, he makes out time with you, he takes you out and then you assume, oh, I'm his baby, he's my baby boo. Mm. And eventually he's telling you that if you get somebody to marry, you go. But you're still you're saying that. No, you are, no, at that point, you're, you're even saying that, well, uh, you're hoping that mm. things will change. Mm. But for this lady, she, she went into this relationship with this guy quite all right. They just started from something like, oh, you look beautiful and they became friends and but it wasn't really defined but mm. she assumed that, oh, we're in a relationship because they were eventually doing like creating time. They were time out and all of that. So in her head, they were actually in a relationship but this guy was, his mind was not even there. He's not even thinking that there's mm. anything. He just felt it's something he's whiling away time with. Mm. Eventually, after years, like one year, two years, and he, he, would, he would tell her that if you get somebody, when they start talking about marriage, mm. like generally how mm. people are getting married, say, when do you want to get married? He, he, like, I'm not ready yet, but what about you? How can we be in relationship and then you, when we're conversing, you're saying, mm, when, you are, when you get married or when I build my family, I'm not being involved in the conversation mm. right now. And then still you are hoping that eventually he will mm. marry you because mm. he has made it clear already that you're not part of his plan. But, but she's in a relationship. Okay, okay, let me just let, let me let me end but, this but story. She's not in a relationship with her. That's the point. She, she, the relationship exists in her head. Mm. <laughs> so eventually, so there, is, there is an existing relationship. You know, wow. ladies, ladies can you know you can just be a little bit foolish at times. Yes, it it hurts, but that's the truth. You can be a little bit foolish. Mm. You see, you don't. You, the fact that you have to put yourself in the position to be found mm. does not mean you should be foolish doing it. Mm. 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 You wait till an intention is declared. Mm. And if the intention is declared, you have to ask. Mm. <laughs> you have to ask, what is the purpose mm. of this intention? Mm. You And if you don't understand the purpose, you don't have right being in the relationship. So how about guys that define the relationship? Because there are instances where they tell you, oh, I just want to marry you. Mm. And then you accept mm. they define you want them to define it mm. from the beginning they start they come to you and that oh either i saw a vision or you are the perfect example or you are the picture of the wife mm. i want and they go into relation well defined in mm. fact some of them can go ahead to even engage you mm. but men they they make you lord of the ring and then <laughs> after waiting they keep giving you excuse oh next year two years time then they now tell you that I don't think I'm ready for this thing. Why should we rush? Sister, we have foolish. forever Joyce, to. We have sister is still foolish. foolish. Had to stay foolish. So and how, and how I, that, you, I, you I that I know <laughs> this can never happen you to you. You can't do it. You see, see I, no, that's, you that's that I the know truth. this can yeah. never, never happen you to you. You see what? What what I think okay, is. Okay, uh, go ahead. You have what I think is. <laughs> what I think is that we don't, and I'm I'm using that we mm. intentionally. We don't always know who exactly we are before we go into a relationship. So you've not found out that this is who I am, this is what I stand for, and this is what I'm looking for in a relationship. Mm. And then someone just comes along uh, and you just also don't have a healthy self-esteem because I can't imagine that somebody would just come and tell you, oh, you're looking beautiful. And excuse me, don't you know that you're beautiful? Uh, you should know that. Mm. You, you, you cannot <laughs> sleep in the night. It's, it's ah, just a confirmation. So, mm. so fine boy it, should not, me it should not make you so <laughs> in over your head mm. thinking, oh no, this guy thinks I'm beautiful. No, you already know that you are, so you should be okay. You're beautiful. Okay. Thank you. I do know that. Thank Prudence, you, so you know there are ladies that when you guys told appreciate them, appreciate yourself already. You, know. you should be okay, able when you, to have when, you, when you say when you say when they said you are beautiful and you say yes i know it sounds rude no not yes i know like oh thank you very much oh okay i'm, I'm aware mm-hmm. thank you very much okay 
Yeah, you're, you're polite about it. But saying I'm aware, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's not rude. You're just appreciating yourself. And you see, it's the same She's girls when they don't hear statements <laughs> like that the whole year. They start matching. <laughs> True, no, true. There's, there's we just no, need there's affirmation no, sometimes. There's no reason why there's no reason why a lady should put love above sense in a relationship. True. I Very agree with true. you. They do that a lot. They mm. put love above sense. Mm. You see, ladies have their love language. That's not to call it completely disregard uh, uh, that they have wisdom once in a while, mm. you know. They are, they, yeah, yeah. Once in a while, when a lady decides to be wise, mm. nobody on earth stops her from being wise. Mm. I agree. If she says, "I am in love with this guy. If I perish, I perish. Leave her." Mm. When she comes back crying, pretend that you are also hot. <laughs> Share the moments with her, with the... and then you tell her, "You see next time." Mm. <laughs> you should have more sense. More sense. Because yeah. ladies place love above sense. Mm. Brothers are praise. They pray over a lady. P R E Y, not P A R E Y. Mm. Like pray. Pray. Mm-hmm. I see a lady definitely as a single guy. I know whatever I want to do with this girl, I I can even determine the longevity. I can det- I can know that after one, two, three rounds of sex, I'm done. Guys, no. From before they talk to you, they already know. Mm. There are some when they see, they know that this one is the one that I will keep at home. Whether she likes it or not, I'll follow her. Mm. So you are pretty, you are tall, you are everything. But he's looking for short, ugly, and he knows that this is the one that will take care of children. Mm. Hmm. You think brothers are not wise? Mm. Guys are wise. They know. They know. They know that all you are good for is beauty. Mm. That's mm. All, that's where it stops. Beauty can't take care of a house. <laughs> beauty, but they know that this one, as ugly as she is, example, <laughs> <laughs> as uh, uneducated as she is, mm. with her uh, diploma, Mm. And uh, she is the one and her all that back. can wake up in the morning, dress the kids for the uh, what? All back. <laughs> <laughs> and they all back. In most cases, they are the ones that take care of family very well. Recently, I came back home. I saw my wife with white hairstyle. I said, Are you still my wife? My mother laughed. I said, It's the time. Mm-mm. Go and look. I even told her, I said, Look for where you sleep this night. It was something very funny. But look, these are the people. Mm. And I'm not praising mm. women to be looking no. shabby and mm-hmm. all of that. Mm-hmm. These are the kind of people. You see, these are the kind of people that I think men are looking for. Mm. They have the ones that they wild time away with that even mm. if they are married, they still want to keep you. Mm. Mm. And then they have the ones that once she calls, whatever you are doing to them at that point, they will respond to and when they are with this one, whatever you do until they are done. Mm. But ladies, I don't know why you keep till Jesus comes. You keep taking lectures about men from other women that have never been men in their lives. <laughs> when men are teaching you they are about, about men, ex- based on experience now. <laughs> when men are teaching you about men, mm. listen. Don't sit down with a woman and take notes about who men are. No. You can sit down with a woman and listen to her experiences with other men. Mm. It's, fine. it's fine. But don't assume that is how men are. Mm-mm. No. Mm. You see, when a man is coming to you, he knows what he's looking for. He knows. He knows. He knows what he is looking for. Mm. It is up to you to pull that out of him. Weighing his actions, mm. weighing his words, mm. weighing his attitudes, weighing his whereabout. You know all of these things. Mm. It will explain to you what mm. Solomon Sambo Sabi is looking for from you. Mm. But when he comes, beep, 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 oh, that's my baby's car. You go, you sit down, they open, <laughs> swear, wrap, you eat and go. Eat cabbage. Eat cabbage. <laughs> and in most cases, the cabbage is more than the more swear. Than the swear. <laughs> Now my friend went. Like to you're talking out of experience. My friend brought a heap, and he always watches Equa TV. Yes. He brought a heap of uh, suya pack. When he opened it, 
very big like this. Oh. When you opened it, it was cabbage and masa. <laughs> so I shouted, Kuzoku chibasa, Kuzoku cabbage. <laughs> they meet like six or seven pieces. Very big like this. But you see, when men know that you are Olonga, what is Olonga in English? Hmm? What is Olonga in, in English? This one is English, but they real English. Okay. Kodei. <laughs> What's the English word for Kodei? <laughs> when you <laughs> are. <laughs> can you imagine? Somebody should speak through TV less here. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> But you see, when men know, you think when you're not contented. No, when no. men know that you are, you are anxious about certain things, mm. they will give it to you. It's true. Just because they are looking. Have you have you not seen ladies who say, ah, "When we started, he was calling me five times. Mm-hmm. He was texting me eight times. Mm-hmm. He was he would chat me anytime I'm online. He's chatting me. That's because brother was trying to get some. Mm. Mm. And every day, every day. You he made you feel so good you gave it to him. Mm. Once bro is done, he will the way he systematically came. That is why how he will systematically go. Mm. Men are wise. Some men leave ladies. The ladies are not even aware that the men have left. Left. (laughs) So so one one guy said he's a fool that breaks up right now. They just leave you inside the relationship you, because you, you no ladies, ladies, ladies know too. Huh? Mm. It's not that I said fine TV. Mm. Ladies know too <laughs> as well, but you know they are being foolish, thinking they are waiting, mm. but they are waiting in vain. Mm. The brother stopped doing the things that he was doing. Why was he doing them? Because mm. the level of love that time, mm. or the level of deceit that time, mm. is way too high. Mm. That he's showing you that up till date, mm. this is who he is. Mm. But sooner or later, he stops being who he is. is. Mm. Sooner or later, he stops being who he is. Mm. Why? Because he got what he wanted. Mm. And he's going somewhere else to build the real thing with a different person. Mm. Joyce, you said something earlier. When a brother comes and he defines his intention. Mm. You see, I've said this on multiple platforms that I've been invited to speak. I say, see, whether you like it or not, people will have sex. People will go and be sleeping with each other, whether you like it or not. Mm. Right? Mm. It is better if you are pressed to do it, do it with somebody else, not him. I'm not encouraging it. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying because whether you like it or not, Mm. we are preaching abstinence, right? Mm. But it gets to a point that people cannot hold it. They must have sex. Mm. This is it. Prudence. I've watched you for a long time. Just respond as prudence, right? I've watched you for a long time. Um, I'm working in Elwa, and every time we come, I see you in Equa Television, and I think um, you are so amazing. You're a wonderful person. I've never heard anything negative about you, and it has attracted me to you. And honestly, I want to be a close friend of yours. What do you think? Respond as prudence. Wow. Okay. Let's see how it goes. Okay. What are you doing tomorrow? Mm. During your break time? Respond as prudence. Mm. (laughs) I'm I'm still thinking how I'll respond. So (laughs) let's see. Uh, I would. This is the reason why I'm asking. Do you know the restaurant at the back here eats there? If we can just go, I just want to buy you lunch tomorrow. Nothing, just lunch. Are you available for it? Honestly, not tomorrow. Okay, but can I buy the lunch and bring to you? Or I send someone to bring it for you? Mm, your choice. Okay, so I'm buying it tomorrow at 12. I'm sending someone. Solo, sir. I'm talking to Prudence, that girl in Aqua TV. Mm. I want that girl. I want to have a relationship with that girl. Tomorrow I'm buying her lunch. Now you didn't hear that I'm telling him that. Mm-hmm. 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 Do I say how far? Fine. <laughs> I'm fine. So every day when you come to Equative, you just be passing people. Even they greet you. They, there is a way you answer. What's wrong with you now? What's what's happening? It's almost twelve. Let's go and have lunch now. Thank you for the offer. 
Okay. Are we going? No. Why? I'm busy. Okay, but should I get it for you? No, thank you. Okay, you can buy your own lunch. Yeah. You are sounding like uh, there's something wrong with buying you lunch. There's nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, there's nothing Thank wrong you with buying for the you. offer. Okay, okay. But you know we work in the same acquired quarters. Of course. Mm-hmm. But why are you rejecting my offer? <laughs> well, um, nothing. Just. So what's wrong if I buy you lunch? Well, don't bother. Um, it's, it's, you didn't ask for it, and I didn't see you look mm-hmm. like somebody that is hungry and cannot afford mm-hmm. lunch. I just want to buy lunch for you tomorrow. I don't think there's anything wrong. Just give me the chance. Let me just buy it and give it. Okay, I will buy it and give it to Solo mm-hmm. to give uh, someone to give it to you. I think that's that's okay. No, don't bother. I'm fine. Like, so I'm fine. I, will, I will buy it. If you like, throw it away. No, don't bother. <laughs> hmm? So if they give you, you won't accept it. Maybe you should buy it for somebody else. Who is the person? Any, your choice. Okay. Now, tomorrow, the launch is here for you, Prudence. Mm. And then, gradually, that's how it starts working. You see how they pull up a resistance? Mm-hmm. That is how ladies are from the beginning. And as an experienced toaster, mm. as I am, mm. right? Mm. That is a yes. Okay. <laughs> hmm. uh, yes, sir. Uh, but no for some people, it's not like that. No lady. No lady. <laughs> That's the starting point. <laughs> no lady, I'm, I'm not saying that that's Even not the starting point, but for some sir. people, it's not Even like that. Even prostitutes, before they follow you, mm. they bag in and give conditions. We watch it in movies. <laughs> sure. The car, the car will not just park and then they jump in. Jump. They will mm. rush you, but they will not follow you until something is agreed upon. Agreed on. Now, the reason why she said no is yes, she can afford lunch and all of that, but you know, she's thinking deeper than lunch. What else does he want? want? But you know, it's a good thought. But ladies don't think further. It gets to a point when they find out why I want to buy the lunch, they get comfortable with collecting lunch. But they don't dig deeper. Mm. Beneath or behind this lunch, is there something else? That is where they don't go deeper. And that is why in most cases, you guys are gotten. Mm. I love the fact that he said most cases. <laughs> in most cases, yes, you guys are got it. Yeah. Because, see, whether you like it or not, at the end, there must be a man in your life. Mm. Mm. How will he get you? The same means mm, that same. the other person got you. Mm. But what you saw in this one is different, different from what you saw in the other person that made you say no. Mm. And, and this example that you just gave, you know, yes, you said most cases. But when you look at it, sir, uh, sometimes I I wonder how they think. Oh, oh wow! In the sense that you know, <laughs> Prudence, let's take a bow. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait now, wait, 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 wait. We are not. We are just. We are just discussing. We are helping each other. <laughs> oh. You see the demonstration. Sometimes see, I wonder how they think. think. Y- y- you know. Go ahead, make your point. Yes, it if starts like from. It, it, <laughs> go ahead. It go starts ahead. from there, and then God help you. He's he. You give him time. After just the launch, and then you start conversation, you begin to like his sense of humor. Mm. And then gradually, because you said, and it's like that, not that you said, mm. you know, because every man comes with a clear definition of what, what, he, wants. Of what he wants, what in he's head, looking right? for. Yes, in what his he's head. looking yes, for. In his yeah, head. Definitely. He doesn't say it always. He <laughs> does, yeah. So meeting you first time, and then you are sitting with the guy. He engage you and then you tell him the entire 22 years of your life. Mm. And in that, he's just underlining some Mm. weak point. Mm. Weak point. He will not tell you. Weak point. Weak point. Then he he went, he will go back, strategize on those weak points and still building Mm. on how to get the lady more. Because from that weak point, you said it maybe out of excitement, you know, mm. and you you dish out everything about your life, and from there he knows that this one. Mm. So the way I was looking at her, mm. that's not exactly what I was thinking. Mm. That is if he's coming with a good intention, mm-hmm. and then by your conversation you try to to show him that you are not really what he thinks, mm. and there and then the person can just change his mind. In this time he will say these are the kind. 
that you just come a while away time. Mm. But I will give myself time, like you said. Mm. One year. Some can wait more than five years. Somebody mm. can still be mm. patient and mm. be pushing just to crack you, to tell and you. To prove, that, to prove a point. That is it, sir. To tell you that men are always smarter mm. than women. Okay, Joyce, you, you, uh, I think both of you are of uh, different opinion from what we are saying. Let's hear your opinion. Maybe about men. Uh, okay, I, I was going to say that uh, in, in terms of waiting in vain, it's not just the ladies. There are men too that fall victim. Sure. There are, uh, I think there's a story of a guy that was told how that he often goes to a lady and then he has interest in her, mm. but he never made his intentions known. Mm. Each time he goes and then she welcome him. They, they take time to talk and eventually he leaves. So he has been struggling. Well, in his head, he assumed that was a relationship. Mm-hmm. She too liked him, but he didn't ask her out for or ask for a relationship. So she was hoping he would, but as days go by, weeks, months, nothing. Eventually another guy, he said he was praying. He was really praying and waiting for God to show him. So it took years and, it okay, months, weeks, weeks, months, and he didn't say anything. So eventually another guy came. Who was not praying? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so eventually, Let's rush our point. <laughs> so eventually another, another guy came and then she accepted him. So mm. the guy was crying that that was what uh, has been bringing him. He mm. wanted to marry her. How so, long has he been coming? Okay, he said weeks, months. Like yes. Maybe so about a year. Eventually, she accepted somebody and then he's, he was feeling bad that that was actually what kept bringing him. And there are also guys that will keep buying, give, buying things. Yes, they, they tell the lady they want relationship, but she tells you she's not game. Even though she doesn't open her mouth, but her actions, mm. she's not doing you. Mm. Is some, but you keep hoping that things mm. are going to change. Eventually, the girl is getting married and then... You are sad. So it's both ways. I'm, ha- I'm both ways. I'm happy that we brought something like because there are a lot of people in that um, shoe. When like the say, lady. When you say waiting in vain, hmm. Hmm? we say waiting in vain, in vain. Hmm. Like wasting time in vain. <laughs> in vain. <laughs> <laughs> wasting time in vain. <laughs> How can I have a lady I love but for one year? I've not told her my intention. Hmm. Hmm. You know, some men find it difficult to say hmm. what. Is in some your some men even look for friends to go and to say it them. on their behalf. Yes. Mm. It's not, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. But you see, looking for a lady is easier now mm. than it was before. Mm. In those days, you have to trek, cross <laughs> rivers, and then cross rocks <laughs> and if you lived in just to go and talk to the girl. But now, like if you have a number, you instance. can spark up the conversation there. Mm. Mm. Sometimes I used to tell some ladies, when you send messages and you start sending love emoji, mm. men don't read it like you are just being nice. Mm-mm. It's love is hard. Mm. Don't send it until you are in a love relationship with a man or you are suggesting your availability. Mm. But it's wrong. If you see something people post, if you comment that you love the thing, put it in word, this is beautiful and I love it. But don't put that love emoji. You see, I call ladies sweetheart. I can just say, Prudence can say good morning. I say, sweetheart, how are you? Mm. Some people don't understand it. So I stopped telling the people that don't understand. Mm. Like, I can just meet a lady for the, excuse me, someone sitting here. No, you can sit. Oh, sweetheart, be careful your bag. I don't know you. Mm. I can get off that plane and just walk and <clears throat> the sweetheart does not mean, can we have dinner? <laughs> or can we have a lunch? No, that's not what it means. It's just an expression. Mm. But some people tell them, sweetheart, mm. or even send a message and say, sweetheart, are you up? Please, you are doing this and this and this for this person. I just thought to recommend you. Mm. Thanks, dear. And all you, you are you think you are reciprocating to something that never existed. Mm. That's what Joyce is saying. Mm. Mm. Until somebody tells you. I am in love with you. And you say, yes, Tony, I am also in love with you. Something has been established. Yes. Then you give him time to prove. The mistake some of you make is you start celebrating the love more than the person that is in love with you. Mm. 
And what is going on now? He will think as desperation. You will think of it as desperation. Straight up. You are desperate. Mm. Ha! So if I have not said I love you, you would have died in this death. No. But it's, you see, ladies should be hard. Mm. Mm. You have been eating for six months. Suddenly a brother comes and is taking you out and you you just act, you are just acting like somebody has not eaten in 12 years. <laughs> Oh, what is he going to impress you with? And he monitors how you discuss the whole situation that with your it. friends. So you see, when, when, when and you are talking about waiting in vain, mm. there are brothers too that are victims. Mm. Mm. But as a brother, we should laugh at you more than the sister. Mm. You are the yes, you are the one that should go and speak. Mm. If you are, uh, if you have inadequacies mm. expressing yourself, mm. check again. Am I still a man? <laughs> check again. <laughs> But a man should be able to speak up wherever he's called upon to speak. And if a man is coming, like she said, you know, he's, he's, he has been going to the house, like without saying anything. And then she noticed that like something is like about to like spark up. Like, bros, you are coming here. How far? What is it? No, well, you, for me, I, I mean, if I if I were a lady, no. I won't speed it out mm. that way. Okay, but I will start rejecting your presence. Yes. Mm. When you come, I'm not available to be seen. You know, <laughs> and ladies can ladies have ways of pulling out things from you. Just mm. call like, me before you come to my. I'm house. not available when you mm. call me and tell me you are coming. I'm at home, but I don't think we should see. I don't want. Ah, oh, what's the problem? No, nothing. I'm just not in the mood. Mm. It will make you to think. Mm. And you know, because you have been coming on neutral grounds, mm. you are wasting our time. You know, I've often said that um, people should get to the point of rejecting certain gifts. It's not every gift that you just accept. Oh, I'm taking it for a dinner. It starts there. Like, I totally agree. So if I know that, You're okay, this guy is asking me for dinner... Mo in most cases, that is how it starts. Mm. He is the first guy in history that enjoys women for conversation alone. So, so <laughs> he's asking you for dinner. Like he said, is it the food that you've not eaten before? Mm. And you know that you don't want to have anything want to, to do. Like No, because it's, it's, it's taking you to that new eatery No, it's not about that. that people See, are... but as a lady, I'm, mm. I'm borrowing the bar again. So. From where? <laughs> I said okay, five. I didn't say bad okay. today. Why are you accusing me first? All right, get to the point of knowing you and what you want. Mm. You know yourself. You know what you want. You know where you are headed. This guy that is asking you for dinner is this somebody that you think aligns with that vision? Mm. Even no, don't even start it. Mm. Because by the time you start going for dinner, accepting gifts, you start feeling you owe the person. Mm. And then when uh, it's not a feeling, that's what it is. Mm. Yes, because you mm. need because to you must reciprocate that gesture. Yes. Funny yes. enough, I've heard someone saying, Oh, I just agreed to him because he was pressuring me and I hate No, you are you accepted to but be But you don't not drag you. He no, you accepted you. to be pressurized. Mm. I think that's this guy is disturbing me. Let yet. me just do no, mm. no. Uh, or they will say you can shut some will say no, I've suffered this guy. Yeah. Hey, uh, hey, uh, let, let me, me just, just go. When let it becomes just... your turn to suffer in return, because that's, that's when you start accepting mm. that payback is welcome. Mm. Mm. That is what it is. You start accepting that payback is welcome. Mm. Because when you say, let me just, mm. he made you think that way. Mm. Because he will go out with his friends and be laughing at the <laughs> When you are talking, he'll be like, hello? Are you okay? No, I'm not. What's wrong with you, Abba? What did I do? I've been asking you for just lunch, and I, I doing anyway. It's fine. I won't ask again. Mm. How are you? Black How is work? <laughs> and then you start feeling bad, mm. bad on behalf of a lion as a goat. Hey. <laughs> you start feeling bad. Lion is saying, "Come, let's play." And you say, "If I don't go and play with this lion, the lion will be lonely. Will be the lion will, angry, will not be happy." And some I people say it's because you. they don't just know how to, how to be bold and just say it's a no from me. Mm. But do you mm, have boldness to, to cry? <laughs> not to cry. Do you have boldness to cry mm. later? <laughs> Ask yourself as well, because mm. they will do it to you. It's they true. will do it to you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let every man explain graphically mm -hmm. why he is coming. Mm -hmm. That is not enough. Mm -hmm. After the explanation, mm -hmm. let him express it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because men... But some can go all out. No. You see, in, in, express, see, in expressing it, it, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. men, men who lie, mm -hmm. they don't keep the records of their lies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in trying to prove the point 
that you are madly in love, mm. you will forget. You start contradicting yourself, mm. what you said and what you are showing. Mm. And that is when the lady will know there are inconsistencies between these two. Mm. So I am an unwilling participant mm. to let this guy in. Mm. Mm-hmm. To let this guy in, I'm even an unwilling participant. You can't even pull the guy. You can't even tell him. Ah. It's been a while since I had sex. So, mm. Honestly, it's been... Ah, and Kanji is holding me. Mm. Say it so that you hear his response. <laughs> it will determine whether you should run head for the <laughs> borders <laughs> or you should stay <laughs> in that. Yes, try him. Try him. Try him. Give him, give mm. him, an, give him reasons to mm. think mm. you are available. Mm. If he starts telling you, no, this is not right. Mm. No, this is not... I don't know how many men will say that, but, no, but <laughs> if he starts saying this is not right, mm. if he starts saying, let's wait for the right time, mm. if he starts saying, this, then you can start having glimpses of truth. Truth. And if you, if you really, you come with this enthusiasm that you love me, mm. and for the next one year, you are not making move. Mm. Something is wrong. No. Okay. Wrong. The Bible well, says wisdom is profitable mm. to direct. Love is a beautiful thing mm. when you get it right. Mm. So like we, we rightly said or agreed, define it and beyond defining it and what the p- person is saying look at the person's action mm. uh, is it in line with what he's saying love is not a noun it's mm. a verb mm. it's an action word, it's a word. word. Yeah. It, it, it's a so it should be seen in all you do in all you say and people that are, all, are going out there trying to be deceptive manipulating other people mm. you give account to Sure. Mm-hmm. I've told story of the guy that kept a lady and even bought chicken, asked her to keep. Eventually, <laughs> it was used for his introduction with another lady. Mm. You give account to. Mm. So don't think you're just being smart and then you get away with it. And some ladies it. will say this thing that he did to me. Mm. They will do it to him and to his him. children. Nothing will happen to him. Oh. You that was foolish. Who yeah. will, who will <laughs> event? I want what to annoys you? I want to end the show. Okay, mm. what annoys... Okay, mm. what annoys you? I'm ending the show. What annoys <laughs> you the most in relationship? Is to see some of my sisters crying and still going back to do the same thing. That's same a regular thing. thing. <laughs> <She didn't annoy laughs> yeah. It's a way of life. It's a no, the, the <laughs> Lies. It, it annoys me that people go into relationship based on lies. They build it on lies and eventually it's... <laughs> is that you don't listen to advice and you're not seeing somebody's experience to learn lessons from mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And I'm I'm talking about those that you follow the same pattern and you know that this person followed this pattern and this is how she ended. Mm. And you still go ahead and follow it and you see it a lot of times on the street. Mm. Uh, especially ladies who end up pregnant for very unreasonable reasons. There are mistakes that people can make. Sometimes when things happen to people, it's beyond their control. Mm. And it's beyond, it's, it's sometimes it has a lot to do with the information they have. Mm as to how to deal with things when they come. But I think this is another the topic that we should still consider next week mm-hmm. because it's, it's not halfway finished. Mm. Thank you for watching today's live on Equa Television. Thank you everybody that did this with us. If you are still waiting, make sure that wait is not in vain. <laughs> Be kind to one another. We will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. God bless you. <laughs>